What makes rich learning rich is that it is motivated, at least in part, by the student's curiosity. The student has to grab onto something and say, oh, I'm actually interested in that. And this experience of richness is the thing that once you've had it, you can never go back to the way that you've taught and learned mathematics before. You can take either one or two counters on your turn, and the objective is to be the one who takes the last counter. Yeah. Who would like to challenge me, the Nim Master? Rich tasks really have kind of a beginning, middle, and end. Did anyone else get the same answer as Masood? Very interesting. And in the launch, we sparked their curiosity. I was always the kind of person that wanted to know why. In the work, we keep them in productive struggle, and this is where they really learn and make those connections. Would you like to go first when there's two counters? I think someone at this table even tried with infinity. You have the rich learning experience that makes the whole thing worth it. Then how did you know that seven is squareable? I want them to leave the room better mathematicians than when they came. And at the end, we reflect, we share what we've learned, get a sense of ownership. I would like one spokesperson from each group to share what they've found. The value we find in doing rich tasks is, is that encourages group interaction and uh, a different way of thinking and applying some of the more concrete elements of mathematics that they've been learning. I think it helps to strengthen different aspects of maths. You know, you can relate that to everyday life. Giving them skills that they can use, problem solving skills, confidence, positive risk taking, so that they can apply that to other aspects of their life. So rich tasks is a perfect example of where I'm combining wellbeing and mathematics and, and joining them. So that's pretty much why I teach. It's really about developing the skills to solve any given problem. You allow the students to build up, I guess, a toolbox or a repertoire of how they work best and how they interact. Having that happen early on in schools really does sort of train students about how to manage themselves within a group. When you start building on it and you get another problem and another problem and another problem, it kind of all builds up, which can help you for not just maths but everyday life. It kind of feels good. It's actually when you learn something for yourself, it's something that will stick with you for a lifetime. You start to own it, you attach feelings to it, it's much more real. Giving your class the time and space they need in order to develop as a mathematician is vital to their learning. It would be far easier to tell a child, start at page one of an exercise book and finish at the end. But the reality is, is that's not life, that's not learning. It is more time consuming, but ultimately far more beneficial, infinitely more beneficial. I would recommend that teachers put aside time for rich tasks it may feel like they're not getting through the curriculum as much as they want, but it's very valuable and it will help all other aspects of their mathematical learning. In anything, especially teaching, it's really important to have the ability to, or, or feel like you can take risks. The same way we, we preach growth mindset to students, we also have to adopt the same, the same mindset. We have to learn to make mistakes, learn from our mistakes, and feel okay with that, you know, rather than stay you know, in a comfort zone where things can very easily stagnate and your development really suffers. In this series of videos, we'll explore how we can use rich math tasks to make these kind of transformative learning experiences more standard in our classrooms. We'll see how we can prepare for tasks and how we can launch them in order to light students' curiosity. How we can keep students in productive struggle and sustain them as they try to make sense of the problem on their own. We'll see how to wrap up tasks to give students ownership over the experience. And often a student will come back, Mrs. Brennan, Mrs. Brennan, I thought about that problem and I have a solution. And that's really powerful.